talking about the uh, the kinetic sculpture race. Like old school racers remember this as one of their favorite machines. Like, it had a seats for about 15 people, but it usually had 25 on it. They would just sit on the roof and the fenders and after a couple blocks after it broke down as it always did they would help push and pull and they had such a like a spirit of the race to them they were always a party and i think that's why people remember them because over those like 14 years the bus never won any major awards but everybody like remembers it it's uh yeah all right introduce yourself for the red-headed black belt here oh i'm <laughs> I'm Robot, I'm the director of the Kinetic Museum, I'm also a Rutabaga Queen, um, and I'm painting the people-powered bus on the Kinetic Museum today. That's where we're at right here. Yeah. Or this week. This week. So it's coming along. Yeah. It's a nice corrugated surface, so it's deceptively bigger than it actually is. I see. So the perimeter is 10 by 8, but the distance across the corrugations is actually 14 and a half feet. So it's a uh, 45 square feet bigger than what you think it should be. Because the perimeter would be, you know, 80 feet. Uh -huh. But the, uh, the inside of it's like 130 something. So you have to look at it from the top and the bottom and paint the ups and the downs as well as the surface. It sounds complicated. Yeah, just time consuming. But very cool, very cool. If you want to do cool things, you either got to have the right tools to do them or the, uh, the time and the patience. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you. Yeah.